Woohoo! We're at week three of the clean eating kid tip. Okay, you guys, so this is all about protein, clean protein. It is key. It is key to help stabilize hormones. It's key to help reboot the metabolism. It is key to stabilize blood sugar levels, therefore stabilizing insulin. If any of your children are diabetic, type one, type two, pre-diabetic, this is absolutely crucial, okay? If your child feels like they're having a lot of tantrums or up and downs, this is crucial. If your child is craving sugar a lot, this is crucial. There's really no, uh, I'm trying to think, what, how's the right word to, I don't know how to word this other than to say for everything in almost every scenario, clean protein is one of the absolute key components to making this entire journey successful. So please, please, please apply what you learn both for yourself and also for your children. I just wanna give you a free, a few examples um, of what is some clean protein that might be more kid friendly rather than um, regular adult clean protein, right? So for example, again, looking at my notes here, but for example, kids love hot dogs. There are actually two brands that I'm aware of, Teton Waters hot dogs, which you can get nationally, and also Applegate Organic hot dogs you want to make sure that they are grass fed and always read the ingredients. But for the last couple of years, those have been free of processed sugar. If you ever see the label that says whole 30 approved, you know that that's free of processed sugar and preservatives, which is pretty awesome. And, and you're start, we're starting to see that more and more on deli meats, on um, hamburgers, on bacon, on sausage, because all of those have hidden sugar in them. It's crazy how much sugar goes into meat. It's crazy. So kid, t the type of kid meats, right? Hot dogs, deli meat. I love Diestel, D-I-E-S-T-E-L. That's the brand of deli meats. They have... Um, turkey diesel that has no processed sugar, no preservatives. It's hands down the best deli meat company that I have yet to find because they don't add all the crap that's highly carcinogenic. Deli meat is highly carcinogenic. It's very inflammatory, very toxic. Um, the standard deli meats that we've had all those years when you and I were probably growing up, right? Um, so you really want to pay attention to that. Always ask your deli person, what are the ingredients? You want to make sure that the preservatives um, and the processed sugar does not exist in the deli meat. Applegate is starting to make theirs more and more like that. So you can probably find some Applegate versions as well. Breakfast sausage. Um, I know a lot of kids love breakfast sausage. So Applegate makes... Um, Whole30 approved, again, it's labeled on there, which I love because you just know immediately when you say Whole30 approved, you can totally have it. So Whole30 approved, um, they have a chicken herb sausage. They have a pork sausage. Pork is not my favorite meat from an inflammatory standpoint, but they do have one without processed sugar, which is very rare. Um, and then they also have a chicken apple. The chicken apple flavor is the only other flavor besides Whole30 that uses a non-inflammatory sugar. So there is sugar in it, but it's honey. So those are the three options for breakfast sausage that make our world go round here in the morning. I love knowing the kids are starting off with some clean protein. It's very easy to grab. Um, so I wanted to give you guys those swaps. Also, Nix Sticks, N-I-C-K-S. Nix Sticks, there's a lot of different varieties out there, but Nix Sticks is one of the grass-fed, grass-finished meat sticks. And I find that their original um, beef, Nix, original beef stick, that was a tongue twister, is really... Um, it's just a good, mild flavor for kids. Nothing crazy. They have spicy stuff and turkey, and they've got all, all different flavors you can play around with, but the the beef grass-fed original mix sticks is just a good kind of straightforward flavor that kids tend to really like. They're, they're great because they come in packages that you kind of peel back, which means it's easy to bring in the pools or throw in your bags or take for traveling, go to the beach. They're awesome, 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 super convenient. Um, also there are, um, let's see here, 
RX bars are a type of bar. A lot of people ask for bars. So my two favorite bars are Rewind Bars, which you can only find online at Rewind Bars. Um, but they have amazing flavors. It's full of superfoods, amazing greens, some really great solid protein. It's vegan, non-inflammatory, so like coffee cake flavor and peanut butter and jelly, only these almond butter and jelly flavor. So many different fun flavors. And then RX bars, the letters RX bars um, are another great way to get some good protein. Those, those uses egg for protein and there's nothing inflammatory in those as well. Um, last but not least, some things kids usually love chicken fingers or, or chicken um, nuggets. And if you look inside my book, Piece of Cake, The Secret to Anti-Inflammatory Diet, there is a chicken parmesan recipe and you can totally, you can make the chicken parmesan recipe if you want, or you can just skip the noodles component. I'm trying to find it here. Um, and go with just make the chicken aspect. So if you do that, I highly recommend making a bunch and freezing it. You can warm it back up. So here's the, the chicken parmesan. The chicken is breaded chicken. It's underneath the cheese. But you, like I said, just make the chicken piece. If your kids like chicken nuggets, make a whole bunch, put it in the freezer. You can rewarm it up um, in the oven, kind of like you're rewarming up a frozen chicken nugget. That's a really great way to do that. I have yet to find a solid frozen pre-made chicken nugget um, that's not inflammatory. Drumsticks, chicken uh, drumsticks are something that a lot of kids love. They're cheap, they're easy. I will make an entire pan, like a um, cookie pan, and I'll put coconut aminos on it, which gives it a really mild, amazing flavor. It keeps it really moist and bake that in the oven and then put them in little Ziploc bags, put some in the freezers to take out later, some in the fridge. Nothing is easier than just grabbing a drumstick, throw it in a lunchbox, have it as a snack. It's a great, great way to um, get some protein in. Um, what else? Okay, I think that's it. Hard boiled eggs, egg whites. I already gave you the list for adults, but I wanted to give you a few specific examples that kids like. Remember that clean protein is key. All right, you guys have a great day.